Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. So, as you know, I use Windows XP from 2001. And it's 2016 right now. I'm exactly 15 years out of date. I'm just kidding, I use Windows 10. Um, so today we are going to try out Vista. Vista was released in 2007, and it wasn't a good operating system at the time. But I have Service Pack 2 installed, so let's get this puppy booted. Let's pin the password. Okay, so here's our nice desktop here. So, what time is it? The time is currently 1.08 p.m. Okay, so our next task is write, save, and open a text document. Okay, so I'm gonna press the start button. And yeah, my start or my uh, screen recorder needs to uh, get warmed up, so. And so does that. So let's click on WordPad here. Yeah, I was originally going to do this with action, but action, I think, gives us maybe two minutes of recording time. And then it'll just stop automatically. So. Okay. File. Save. Yeah, I'm literally on my floor here trying to do this and save. Okay, so I'm saving it in documents folder. Yes, I want to replace it. And yeah, sometimes it'll not respond. Like now. Like I can move my mouse, but it won't let me do anything. Okay, so now it's um, working. I'm gonna come back when I. Okay, so let's press X. And let's find it in the documents folder. And documents. I should have called it text document. And I remember the last time I was doing this, I was working on a 1024 by 768 monitor. And um, this one's a 1920 by 1080 one. And I hope it's uh, recording because. I don't want to have to redo this because it's taking way too long just to open it. Three minutes. Okay, so I got it to open. Finally. Okay, so. Let's close that. The next task is. Okay, so the next task is. What is 48 times 62? Okay, so calculate head. It's right there. 48 times 62. 2976, I guess. Okay, so next task is to change the desktop background. I'm going to right click. Personalize. So it's taken from XP and put personalize instead of properties. So as you see there it says Windows Vista TM build 602. This copy of Windows is not genuine. So it just gives me a, bla a, back a black background. So yeah, I just locked it instead of logging out. So, you can actually get the full Windows Vista experience. I do have a home premium virtual machine, but it has an internet and I was going to use it, but nah. Uh, let's see here. I'll do a leaf. Okay. Okay, so change the transparent windows color. 
So, since it's not transparent, I really can't, because it's not transparent. And how come on my screen it looks kind of crooked? Trust me, it does on my screen. I think it's just my eyes. Yeah, let's put up that. Okay, so, let's close out there. Okay, so change the window's color. Yeah, it's crooked. Let me uh, adjust my contrast. Auto. Huh, still kind of crooked. Well, this could uh, be a short video. Uh, let's see here. Windows color and appearance. Also, maybe I can, um, compare Windows Vista to Windows XP. Let's go with Windows Classic. Advanced. Let's see here. I want Windows Vista Basic. Account console. Basic. Bonds. On basic, advanced. Let's see here. Can I change the font? Oh, I can't. Uh, let's do... Also, in the next video, I'm gonna try to operating system that's not even in English. It's gonna be in either Greek, Spanish, or, or German. So, yeah. Um, let's do... Input. And size. Um, uh, 218. This. Actually, yeah, that's a good size. 32. Okay. Um, yeah, that's good. In the play. Oh my god, that's gonna look so weird. Well, at least it's not my main account on Vista. Hey, and at least I could really click it. Okay. <laughs> so I increased it a little more. And look at the taskbar. That looks really weird. But the start menu's fine. Um, so yeah, I think these buttons will be really easy to press now. So yeah, and those will be easier to see. <laughs> Let's uh, mess up some other stuff. It's so, like if I click on the battery icon, it's like normal. But like the task buys and so let's uh, mess up some other stuff on this account. Yeah, those are also nice and big. But like that's normal size. That's like my personalization. <laughs> Look at these, like... You can really... You're, you're really able to press it now. Uh, let's go into uh, display settings here. It's like there's a 1920 by 1080 monitor. Um, let's see here. Let's minimize that. Right, minimize you. Minimize. 
Yeah, it's really easy to uh, use now. It bumps. Uh, look at that picture. It can't even fit that. Let's see, a moniker. Adapter. Moniker. Let's see here. Screen work. Alright. Troubleshoot. Phone management. Okay, that's not what I want. Oh, I want like font size and stuff. Like, I think I better start you. I'm not sure if it'll open on uh, Windows. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be easy to use and get annoyed by. Okay, it froze. Windows froze. Oh, that's probably a screen recorder's fault. Yeah, look. Yeah, it can definitely fit in there. Hey, I didn't. I never told you to go like that. And plus, you have enough room. So yeah, let's um, let's lose some size. Mhm. Mm so yeah, it says 1920 by 1080 here. And it's 1150. Just kidding. Let me, uh... Okay, so I did that. And I put it all back normal. Um... So the next ta- er, well, not the next task, but... How would you add gadgets to the sidebar? So, this thing over here. So I'm gonna press this. I'm gonna right click it. Next, uh, next week on OS First Timer AM, um, I'm gonna um, be trying out Windows 7. So, a gadget. Okay, so, I want to show you some features of Windows Vista, and I want you to tell me if you would use these. So the first one is, um, if you right-click the sidebar, one will work. Okay, if you right-click the like okay, so it crashed. So let's, um, reopen it really quickly. Okay, so now I want to show you some features, and tell me if you would use them. So once our sidebar pops up, I'm going to show you something. Okay, so the first feature is, um, go to the sidebar and right click it. And click on close sidebar. That's one way you can close the sidebar. Okay, so the next feature is, um, if you right click the taskbar, okay, so our background turned black, and the something said activate Windows. I was like, I don't want to, because it already is. So, yeah. So click on taskbar and. Okay, so it's already like that. Go to classic start menu. Actually, no. No, no, no. Cancel, cancel. No. Actually, what you want to do is right click the desktop and click on personalize. Yeah, and it says right there. This is damn stupid. Click 
thick and thin. And click on Windows Classic. Press OK. Okay, so now you get this thing here. Right click the taskbar and click on properties. And it also is a tad faster like this. But a tad. Click on start menu, click on classic, and press OK. And then you click the start button right there. And you get this. Uh, even though it says Windows Vista, it's still basically Windows XP. Just in like this classic thing. And see there, it's, it even does the highlight. Oops, I'll be back. It's like it even does the highlight of Windows 7. Okay, so your last task is to shut down the computer. So I'm gonna click on start. Actually, let me uh, set this all back to default setting. Okay, so here we are. So now your last task is to shut down Windows. So where did our recycling bin go? No clue. So just log out because I'm going to use it. Okay, so now I just want to compare it to Windows XP. So Windows XP has this bluish kind of start menu. And it's okay. Let me show you a picture. Okay, so I'm, I'm cheating right here. I'm going to use Windows 10 here um, to, um, you know, get the uh, pictures. Okay, so now, um, sorry about that, I can't. So let's shut down the computer without pressing the power button. So yeah, I'm stuck here, so I'm going to press Alt F4. I hope that did not mess up my real feet. I don't want to be a computer. Uh, I'll be right back if you release errors. Okay, so now let's shut down the computer. So I'm just going to press start. Okay, it's not a shutting down or hopefully. Okay, so now I think it's finally shutting down. Because as you see, it's dimmer.
Okay. <laughs> so, um, here we are. Um, um, Windows 10 again. So, I hope you enjoyed that long episode of me having trouble using Windows Vista. This name will, or the video name will be Logan um, struggles to use Windows Vista on a virtual machine. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye.